Hello, everyone. Well, we're filming this on Tuesday uh, before I head out of town, and I wish I could be with you this weekend, but we are somewhere else this weekend. And yet we all know what transpired this past weekend in Israel. We know that uh, the walls were breached. We know that uh, now two countries are certainly being impacted by, um, by the actions of some terrorists. And that in many ways, this little country in the Middle East has created a tremendous amount of instability within the context of our world because of what's taken place. Um, by the time you watch this on Saturday night or Sunday, uh, probably a lot of other things have happened as well, unless there's a direct intervention by God to bring about some sense of peace and stability once again. Um, we know that lives have been uh, ripped apart. We know that innocent lives have been taken on both sides. And we know that there's been great casualty because of war. Psalm 122 tells us to pray for Israel. It tells us to pray that the walls will be fortified. It tells us to pray for its peace and, and its security. And as I was processing what to say, uh, I actually came across a really great prayer that I think really says it all and that actually if you go to World Relief's website, you'll see this prayer. And it may be one that you just begin to pray about even through the course of this week as you're thinking about Israel and what to pray. And I'm just gonna pray it, just gonna read it, and just you can follow along with the words down below if you'd like, here it is. Lord, you said, peace be still, and the storm was still. We confess that at times we feel overwhelmed by the storm but today we lift up our eyes to you, the maker of heaven and earth, and we ask for a miracle. Let your peace fill Israel and Gaza. We lift our prayer to you. Lord, hear us. God, let violence cease in the region. Let there be no more bloodshed. We know your heart breaks for those killed and those left behind, for the orphan child, the injured elderly, those abducted and families desperate, desperate for safety. Lord, speak into the crisis. We lift our prayer to you. Lord, hear us. We pray for those who have lost loved ones. Let your peace and love wash over them. Please protect and provide for those who have been abducted. Lord, bring them home safely. Let them be reunited with their loved ones. Let them feel the comfort of their embrace. We lift our prayers to you. Lord, hear us. God, we pray that you open doors that allow food and essentials and medical supplies to reach those in need. May first responders be able to rescue the injured, comfort the grieving, and help rebuild many lives. We lift our prayer to you. Lord, hear us. God, we pray for your peace and reconciliation to overcome conflict. We ask that you give wisdom and discernment to our global leaders and those in positions of power who have the ability to impact the course of this war. Help us to be bold advocates and agents of peace in our own communities. We lift our prayer to you. Lord, hear us. We pray for people scattered around the globe whose friends and family members have been caught in the crisis. We know you're with them. Help us to express your love to those affected in our communities, churches, and workplaces. We lift our prayer to you. Lord, hear us. Lord, we raise Israel and Gaza to you and we pray for those suffering. And we ask that you provide peace in the crisis and protection and comfort for all those who have been impacted. We lift our prayer to you, Lord hear us, amen.